With Powerwall 3 mounted, wired, and commissioned, the installation is almost complete. Before closing any installed hardware, take photos of the completed wiring in Powerwall, gateway, or backup switch, and any electrical panels that were worked on. Installers will document the installation in the Tesla One app with a job checkout or JCO form. To access the JCO form, return to the Installs page. The system that was commissioned will now be displayed on this page. Tap here to open the job page. Scroll down and tap on Action Items. Scroll down once again and select the proper JCO form based on the installation region. Provide answers to each of the questions about the installation and upload the specified photos. Tap here for an example of what these photos should look like. When the JCO form is complete, a green check mark will appear next to it on the job page. After completing the JCO form, the next step is to close Powerwall 3. Retrieve the air intake screen from the accessory bag. Insert the screen over the opening at the bottom of Powerwall 3. Ensure the screen is oriented as shown here. These notches will engage with the leveling feet to secure the screen to the enclosure. When correctly installed, the air intake screen will not interfere with the installation of the front cover. Next, check all wiring within Powerwall 3 to ensure that it does not extend beyond the front edge of the enclosure. If needed, adjust the cable ties so the wiring is neatly tucked within the enclosure. Using a microfiber cloth, proceed to clean the front edges of Powerwall 3. It is important to note that any debris on the surface may interfere with the waterproofing seal created by the front cover. Carefully, remove the glass front cover from its packaging. Use a microfiber cloth to clean the sealing gasket around the edge of the front cover. Please use care during this step, as damage to the sealing gasket may compromise the ingress protection of Powerwall 3, potentially resulting in damage. Next, retrieve six front cover screws from the accessory bag and a T20 Torx driver. Install the front cover by aligning these lower mounting tabs with the lower screw holes on the enclosure. Bring the top of the front cover toward the enclosure to engage the top mounting tabs. The door can be held in place with a knee during this process or with the help of a second person. Apply slight pressure to the front cover, compressing the sealing gasket. Begin installing and hand tightening the two front cover screws into the top two fastener slots. Proceed to install and hand tighten the four remaining cover screws. There are two on each side. Note, do not use a drill or impact driver to install the front cover screws. If commissioning was successfully completed, ensure that the breaker and enable switch for Powerwall 3 are on to enable charging. If commissioning could not be completed, or if the utility provider does not allow the system to run before PTO, the site must be left with the breaker on and the enable switch off. Clean up the installation area and walk the customer through the new equipment that was installed. Brief them on the next steps, including inspection by local authorities and receiving permission to operate or PTO from their utility supplier. Powerwall 3 is now fully installed and ready to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy.